is Katie. In today's video, I am just simply, simply, you guys know me better than that. I am going to be talking about the one super important thing in terms of travel, but also in terms of kind of anything that is a decision in your life. So I'm sure I've made tons of videos like this in the past. You guys know I really like to talk about motivational stuff because I think it's really, really important actually. I think a lot of people uh, kind of feel stuck or feel unmotivated or are confused, don't know what they want to do. And so I actually started this video off, I already recorded all this beginning part. I started this video off giving you some tips on summer travel, giving you some tips on how to stay cool. You guys know this thing, spray yourself and then fan yourself. Tips on how to stay cool. Tips on where to go in the summer for travel. That's how I started off this video. Then I spent 15 minutes talking about the most important part of it. And then after I spent 15 minutes talking about that, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna switch this whole video to just talking about that. And I can do another summer travel tips video, like or actual tips where I talk more about this fan, you know, if you want me to. And I can do that for, you know, for a week or two from now. But this video is essentially going to be the number one piece of advice that I have in terms of summer travel, but also in terms of just literally doing anything in your entire life. But we're just kind of catering it to summer travel because it's summer <laughs> and because I'm traveling. So we're catering it to that a little bit because also I know a lot of you guys are curious of like, well, how do I, how do I do this? What do I do? How do I get on the road? Like if you want, like you guys know, I've been on a road trip for like three years almost. And even before that on and off for like another like three or four years. So I know a lot of you guys, it's just like, well, I don't even know where to start. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get prepared. I don't know. I just, I literally just don't know what to do. And I get that. I totally know what you're talking about. It's so easy to just be overwhelmed with something that you've never done before into a way that it almost makes you not even want to do it because you have no idea where to start. And so in this video, I am just kind of going to tell you where to start. So that's what this video is going to be. This jump to the actual part might be a little messy because again, I like I recorded it confusingly before, but hopefully the actual message is clear. <laughs> and yeah, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel for, you know, uh, some motivational posts, but a lot of travel stuff, a lot of travel vlogs, and uh, make sure that you're following me on Instagram as well for more daily updates. And so let's just get into the video. But I feel like also another super common question and probably a super common thought that a lot of you guys have is kind of like, how do I get started? Like how, how, like how, do I do this? How do I even go on a road trip? How do I even leave? How do I live in my car? How? Just like that first, those first few steps, that first week, those first few days, whatever, the how. The most important thing that I could ever, ever teach you guys, ever, 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 is if you're like, oh, well, well, I don't know how, I don't know how to start, I don't know where to start, I don't know what to do, I wanna be on the road, I wanna live in my car, I wanna travel, well, how? Just do it. This is the most important thing I could ever tell you guys. Just do it. Just go. Just go because literally you can figure it out on the way. I didn't have YouTube to, well, I mean, I'm sure that there were people posting on YouTube when I started, but I didn't watch any of that. I didn't read blogs. I didn't ask people. I just went. I just left. I just, some of it's just common sense. You know, like always have water in the car and lock your doors when you're sleeping. You know what I mean? Some of it's common sense, but besides that, a lot of it, at least I'm the kind of person I learn as I do things. Some people love researching. That's probably why some of you guys are watching this right now because you want to research first. That's incredible. That's awesome. Be prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared, pre pre mm. be prepared, that's great. But I also think that there's so many things that you will not actually understand or know until you actually just go out and do it. And so yes, watch these videos, watch all, watch all of my videos. I have like 380 videos, go watch all of my videos. And then you will hopefully be a little prepared mentally at least to be able to go, to realize that it's probably not as difficult or as confusing or as scary as you thought it was. And also it's probably a little bit more fun. It's probably gonna be a little bit more boring at first there it's just going to be different than you could ever imagine and a lot that's with a lot of things you don't know what college is going to be like or marriage is going to be like or moving to a new city is going to be like until you actually do it you could research for 20 hours about a city but then not actually understand like the i hate the word vibe but like you wouldn't even understand the vibe until you actually get there you know what i mean and so i do think that research and thinking about things and planning certain things is very very important i think those things are important but I also think it's even more important to just go, to just do it. Because there's so many people who let fear stop them, who let insecurity stop them, who let, oh, well, I, I don't know, stop them. Don't, 
If it's something that you really want, if you really, really, really want to go on a road trip, but your family says that you're crazy or you don't really even know where you're going to go or whatever, but you feel it inside you that you need to be on the road, then just go. Just go. You'll figure it out. I know you will. We talk about excuses on my channel sometimes, and a lot of people will almost argue my, hey, don't have excuses, just do it, with more excuses. But here's the thing. Just think about this really, really quickly. Think of a very successful person you know, whether it's someone in your family, whether it's someone famous, whether it's a, a scientist, a president, whoever it is. Think of someone that you consider successful. Now, think about what would happen if you talked to them. Do you think that they would make any excuses? No. Do you think that they'd be like, well... I didn't grow up in the best neighborhood or I don't have a lot of money or I just, I don't really know. Or like I work three jobs. I don't really have time. No, they don't say that. They understand that you can power through almost anything. There are obviously some reasons. If you are in a coma, you, you probably can't go on a road trip. You could, but you couldn't be driving yourself. But there are some actual reasons why you can't do things. 100%. There are different priorities you have. 100%. But I'm talking about the, oh, I don't really have time. You there's time or I don't really know how you can figure it out. There's, if you want something badly enough, you will figure out how to make it happen. But on top of that, with fear, with resistance, everyone has that stuff. Everyone has, because our brains, I'm going off on a real, real tangent here. Our brains naturally want to keep us safe. Our brains do not want to thrive. Our brains do not want to be exciting and do crazy awesome things and be extraordinary. They want to stay safe. Our brains just want to stay alive. If you want to follow that, if you want to follow your brain and just stay alive, and if that's what you really want, then, that, then that's totally fine. Whatever you actually want is fine. But if you really, really want something else, if you're like, you know what? I want to go do something that might sound a little crazy to a lot of people. I want to go on a road trip by myself for three months drive around the country get to places I've never even been and I've never done it before your brain there's parts of your brain that are going to tell you nope nah, -uh, don't no don't don't do that don't do that it's unsafe you're confused you're not good enough you're uh you're not capable enough you're dumb you don't know what you're doing you don't know what you're talking about you couldn't do that you can't do that no absolutely not that's what your brain is going to tell you because your brain wants to keep you safe in a little bubble your brain does not want to challenge itself and your brain does not want to innately grow because it wants to stay safe however a god wants us to grow we have to work past that but b also it's just better for ourselves if we grow if you stay in your comfort zone if you stay in your little bubble your whole life you just won't really learn anything and again if that's really what you want then that's great but I don't think it's what most people want. And I'm not saying you have to live an extravagant, crazy different life that everyone has to be an astronaut. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying I know that there's at least one thing in your head that you want, whether it has to do with travel or whether it doesn't, whether it has to do with getting a new job or getting out of your relationship or getting a dog. There might be something in your head that you want, but there's going to be things that are going to talk you out of it. All I'm going to say is hear that, hear it. Because there are going to be some times where it's actually telling you like, hey, there's a bear over there. You might have a really weird like idea to go try to fight it, but don't do that. Okay. There are certain things. It's like, uh, you know what? Listen to your brain there. But there are just going to be certain things again that your brain wants to stay safe. And so if you're like, you know what? I want to go get my PhD. Your brain's going to be like, and also on top of that, I'm not saying your whole brain and I'm not saying everyone, but there's just always a little part whether it's internal or internal and external, like from other people, like if you wanna go get a PhD, it's gonna be part of your brain that's gonna be like, it's gonna be hard, it's gonna take a lot of time, it's gonna take a lot of money. You're gonna think of all these things, but you just have to think of, do you want it badly enough? Is it going to be good for you in a way that means that these other things are just excuses that you can work through? But you're also gonna deal with other people on the outside being like, oh, you don't need to do that. Oh, that's gonna to be too hard. You don't need to do that. You don't, no, 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 no. Because other people want to keep you on their level of success or laziness or whatever. And so if you're talking about doing something that's a little bit above, they're going to shoot you down. And it might not even be on purpose. It usually isn't. It's just kind of how people interact. It's, oh, this person's about to do something that I've never done. No, we should just tell them it's going to be really, really hard so that they stay on my level. You know what I mean? But so that was a, a little bit of a tangent, but you guys know that I like talking about this motivational stuff. If you want something, figure out how to do it. 
And the thing that I wanted was to be on a really, 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 really long road trip. And so that's what I'm doing. And there are going to be different levels of things. Maybe you also want to be on a really, really long road trip. Maybe you just want to go to college, but everyone in your family is like, no, you shouldn't. But you really, really want to. And there's different levels of want. Obviously, it could be unhealthy. There's things, I could talk about this for 12 hours. I'm not going to in this video, but there are different levels of want because maybe you want something because it's unhealthy. But if you want something and you really think that it's healthy for you, you think it could benefit you, you think it could be helpful for you, you think it could bring you closer to God, then it doesn't matter how hard it is. It doesn't matter. Just, just do it. Because I am such a firm believer of anything that is worth it is probably going to be difficult. It's probably going to be out of your comfort zone. Not everything. Because like I had pizza last night. That's not really out of my comfort zone, but I like pizza. I like gluten-free pizza. And I was able to have it last night. That was real easy for me to get. But I'm talking about big, big things, big changes in your life. A lot of them are just going to take work. And I'm not saying the work is going to be like the most horrible thing in the world. Sometimes it might be, but there's just going to be a lot of things. Again, think about successful people. They might have worked for 18 hours a day for three years to get to where they are now, or to get even remotely anywhere, to get even on someone else's radar of success or on their own radar of success, because success is different for everyone. And it's really just what makes you happy. It makes you feel fulfilled, in my opinion. But I am just hoping that in terms of summer travel, in terms of whatever it is, just go do it. Just go do it. Just do it. Figure it out. Make sure that it's really, really, really what you want and what's right for you. And honestly, sometimes you don't even know that until you do it. So still just go do it. Maybe if you are really confused, but you kind of feel a pull or kind of feel a push, maybe don't completely cut old ties. Maybe go for, a, you know, if we're talking about traveling, go for a weekend, take four days off of work, go for, you know, a long weekend. I think that it's important. Think about it yourself. Think about what's good for you. Think about what's best for you. Think about what you want. And I'm not saying it in a selfish way. I'm not saying, well, I want to do this. So just like screw all you guys. I'm going to stop like paying my child support. I'm going to stop visiting my grandma. Like that's not what I'm talking about at all. I'm not talking about being irresponsible. That's not what I'm talking about at all. There are just ways to live your life in a way that you really, really want it while also being responsible, while also taking care of yourself, while also still paying your bills, while also still working, while also still putting effort into your community or your church or your family. There are ways to do all of that. So yeah, I know that this video was kind of confusing and all over the place, but I really just want to stress the idea that it is pushed on us to stay the same, to not grow, to not learn, to not really do anything different, to have stable lives, whether you like it or not, whether it's fulfilling you or not. We are just kind of pushed to do that from parts of our brain that want to stay safe, but also from people around us. And they could even be people who love us, but they just kind of don't understand us or don't really know what is actually best for us, but they think that they do, you know, so they kind of just say what they really think when in reality, only really we know what's best for us. There are obviously going to be some people who are really close to us who also know, but there's going to be certain things in your life that you want to do that nobody is going to understand that nobody's going to agree with, that nobody, maybe nobody will even really be on your side, but it matters most. If it's going to take you away from God, then I don't even suggest that either. But I'm talking about if it's something neutral, like if it's you going on a road trip, that's a neutral thing. Make sure obviously that's not taking you away from God and make sure that you're still being, you know, responsible. You know what I mean? Like I'm not, I'm not trying to suggest, well, just rack up credit card debt. Don't pay any other bills and just kind of just disappear. Who cares? That's not what I'm talking about at all. I'm a firm believer in being responsible, taking care of your responsibilities and taking responsibility for your actions. I'm real big on that. But there are ways that you can do that and still live a life that's fulfilling to you. That makes you feel like you're, you're really doing something important for you, for the world, for God. There are ways to live that whole life. And for me, for right now, at least it's living on the road. It's doing YouTube. It's talking to you guys. This is what I feel like is best for me. And you guys know, I think I mentioned it once or twice that I've kind of been in my head a little bit lately, really figuring out what, you know, what is best for me? Is this even still best for me? Cause I've been doing it for so long. And sometimes you do things for so long that you just think that they're always good for you when in reality they're not. You could hate something for your whole life. And then at, when you're 25, you could start enjoying it. You know what I mean? But it could be the opposite. You have no idea. So I think it's really important to kind of check in with yourself and to think about all that kind of stuff. I talked about that in a, a video a few weeks ago, but if we're talking about summer travel, right? What's the number one thing that you need to know was my number one piece of advice. It is literally to just do it. If you have that feeling inside of you that something's like gnawing at you a little bit, that it's just like, just do this, just do this. Like it's going to be good for you. Like something that you think about all the time that you fixate on all the time. Think about it. Is it something that you can do that you're still being responsible to, to you, your family, you know? And usually, honestly, a lot of times it is. A lot of times you can be responsible and also still do what you want. 
it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be confusing, it's going to be uh, scary, but literally the background of my phone is feel the fear and do it anyway. Just cause something's scary, unless you're trying to attack a bear. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you guys a lot. Do not try to fight bears or bison. Don't even go near bison. But if it's something that's scary because it's taking you out of your comfort zone, because it's going to make you learn or grow as a person, if it's going to take you out of honestly anyone else's comfort zone that's around you, because we so easily act like everyone around us, especially I think it's like the five people around us the most is kind of who we kind of just act like. And so if all of your friends have nine to fives that they hate, and three kids and they are not happy in their marriage, it is just a little bit more likely that you are just also gonna do that because everyone else around you is doing it. And so that's just kind of, we we as humans want to be part of a group, you know? And so seeing that and then being like, ah, oh, I really don't want that and I'm not going to have it, that is not the norm. The norm is to follow everyone else, it just is. And so if you really want to have a life that is more fulfilling to you, it can be having a job a nine to five and having three kids. I'm not saying that, that, that it can't. I'm just saying that we're more likely to do something whether you want it or not if people around us are doing it. But it doesn't even matter what it is. If you want to get married and have three kids, but there's something inside of you that, that maybe is even telling you that you're scared to do that. If, if you know that it's good for you and it's what you want, then figure out a way to just to, to do it. Just do it. Seriously, just do it. And if it's something the opposite, if it's something that nobody around you has ever done, nobody that I know, that I knew at least when I started this, lived in their car and traveled, nobody. I knew some people who would like go on tour because I know a lot of musicians, but they'd go on tour and then they would come home. And that, you know, like that was part of their job. I don't, I didn't at the time when I first started doing this, I did not know anyone else doing it, but I wanted to do it. And I, the first time I did it, the first month I went on the road, I really enjoyed it. And I'm like, okay, cool, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep doing this. It's really extra difficult to do something that nobody you know does. It's extra difficult to do something that people look down upon because some people look down upon me for living my lifestyle like this, which doesn't bother me. I like my lifestyle. You have to be secure in your decision. You have to be secure. You have to believe in yourself, which is really hard. It's really, really hard because also there's a line. I'm not saying be cocky. I'm just saying know that you can do it because you really can. That's kind of just the end all of this is I'm saying to just do it. I'm saying to just go on the road, to just go get your PhD, to just have children and get a dog, to just get a different job, to just end your relationship that you're not happy in. I'm saying, ju I hate the word just because a lot of people use the word just in the way that I used it as a, it's easy, just go do it. But that is why I'm using it. I'm using it on purpose for that purpose. Just go do it. Just go, you, you literally have to for like your whole life, like for your being, you have to. And so you have to kind of change it in your head to just. It's gonna be hard. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. It is going to be hard. But what in your life is worth it, that is easy. Think about it, honestly, what in your life is worth it? If you have a great marriage, did you just fall into that or did it take work? And I'm not saying that you have to hate the work. You probably, if it's right for you, you will enjoy putting that work in. You will know that it's for a, a benefit of you, of your loved ones, of your relationship with God, you'll know. So it'll be work you want to put in, but it's still going to take that work. It's going to take mindset changes. It's going to take lifestyle changes, whatever it is. Whether it's going back to school, say, it's gonna, that takes a lifestyle change. Whatever these big goals you have, I'm such a big fan of lofty goals. Whatever they are, they're gonna take time, they're gonna take energy, they're probably gonna take money, they're going to take mindset changes, they're going to take people attacking you and you having to stand up for yourself, maybe not in a, a negatively attacky, defensive way, but be like, nope, this is, this is good for me, doesn't matter if you don't think so. Unless it's someone who's like supporting you and you're only 14, that's different. But if you're like an adult and you make your own money and you have your own time, just do it. It's gonna look different for everyone, but if it's your priority, you guys know I'm really big on priorities because it might not be. If you think all the time, I wanna, I wanna travel, I wanna travel, I wanna travel, but I don't want my kids to travel yet, okay? Then that's fine. Your kids are your priority as they should be, but also them not traveling is more of a priority than you traveling. And so then that's totally fine then that's fine. There's going to be something different for you that lines up with your lifestyle that's still gonna be hard and difficult and take time and take energy, but that is going to still line up with your priorities and your values. I hope that that makes sense. And so, number one, I mean, in reality though, my number one tip for summer travel is get this fan. It should be linked in my Amazon description. I got it from Target, but I'm sure I can find it on my Amazon. This is my number one suggestion. This fan, it was like 12 bucks. 
this is my number one suggestion for summer travel because it's gonna get real hot. <laughs> but besides that, just do it. I feel like there are just a lot of people who you almost procrastinate by researching sometimes. And I feel like a few of you guys might be like, oh yeah, I do that. Because research is important, absolutely. But there just there's a line that you can cross if you research something for a few hours or for a few weeks, even if it's a big decision or even a few months, if it's a big decision, that's great. But if all you do is research and you're not really making a plan to do it, or you've been researching for 10 years, it might be because you're procrastinating. It might be because fear is stopping you. It might be because self-sabotage is stopping you. I think it's just really important to kind of, kind of think about it because you might be doing all this research because in reality you're scared and it's okay to be scared. Understand that. It's okay to be scared. A lot of people are scared, especially when they're doing something different, but feel the fear and do it anyway. Just because you're scared does not mean that you shouldn't do it. In fact, most of the time you're afraid of a change in your life. And again, I'm not saying fighting bears, but if you're afraid of a change in your life and it, it brings you fear, but you also think about it a lot, it's probably because it could be beneficial to you. And so you guys know I can talk about this for 20 more hours. I'm not going to. I'll spare you right now. If you guys like these more motivationally type videos where I talk more about motivationally stuff or psychology or anything like that, let me know in the comments because I really, I like talking about this stuff. I talk about this stuff and I think about stuff off the camera all the time. And I think it's really important to me because again, there's so many, there's so many tips I can give you and summer travel. There's so many tips I can give you on where to sleep in your car or my favorite places to travel. And that's great if you wanna hear those because I like to hear my friends' opinions on things or my family's opinions on things or if I really like a YouTuber, I wanna hear their opinion on things 100%, absolutely. I, get, I totally get that. But I also think it's important on top of that on top of hearing someone's opinions, I also think it's important to check in with yourself and think what you really want because what I want is not always gonna be what you want. Just like if you're watching, like I watch a lot of makeup videos on YouTube and they're gonna be some beauty gurus who talk about a product that they love and I might hate it and vice versa. They might hate something and be like, what, I love that because everyone's different. And so I can talk about all this stuff. You might buy this and be like, Katie, this is dumb, but I love it and so I would recommend it. And if you guys, if, if we have similar mentalities or something like that, then we might agree on a lot of things and that's awesome. But if we don't, that's also totally fine because we're also different. So that's kind of why, at least for this video, I'm not giving specific advice because I want to encourage you guys, really, really want to encourage you guys to think about what's best for you and to, to, to really realize if fear is stopping you, if self-sabotage is stopping you, or if you just haven't done it yet. Maybe it's something that you've thought about, but you're just like, actually, you know what? After thinking about it, I realized it's not what I want. Or, you know what? I did go on the road for two weeks and I just kind of realized I didn't like it. And that's totally fine. It's totally fine to do something and then realize you don't like it and you don't want to do it anymore. But a lot of times on top of the research, again, research is important. Thinking about things is important. Figuring out how you're going to start in terms of logistics, which I will PS make a video in the next like week or two on literally logistics of how to start a road trip. I'm going to do that video, but just for right now, just for the next few days, until that video goes up or the next week or two until that video goes up of the more logistics of what you need what to do I'll probably start a series so that might be a few videos of like starting to go on a road trip or starting to live in your car I think that'll be a series I mean this might even be the first video of that series because I think your mindset and your thought process which I know I've talked about this a tons of times but it's really important I think this is probably the most important thing in terms of reaching any goal in terms of doing anything different in your life it takes knowing that you can, knowing how capable you are. I think I've told you guys this many times. I dated someone about 10 years ago. When we dated, I was not in a good spot mentally, like at all. And I remember he just told me all the time how capable I was and it has stuck with me. I feel like some of you guys need to hear that too because in reality, you are capable. You are, like you 100% are. And it's gonna be, you're capable of what? You're capable of doing what is best for you. And that's just gonna be different for everyone. And so if it is going on the road, cool. I'm gonna have a lot more videos on that. If it's getting your PhD, this is just you, it's just been gnawing at you, then figure out how to do it. Cause I know that you can. I know that you can figure it out and I know that you can thrive and succeed at it. Cause you just can. And so what's the most important part of moving into your car or going on a road trip? Just knowing that you can do it. And just literally doing it. Just doing it. Because you can procrastinate for years and never do it. And then you could literally honestly Tomorrow's not guaranteed, so that means 10 years from now is not guaranteed. If you want something and you want it badly enough and you think it's good for you and good for your relationship with God and good for your family, do it now. Just do it in whatever way possible as soon as possible. 
it still might take a, it, a few months. I understand that, but you can start right now. So I hope that you guys do. I really, really hope that you guys do because you are so capable. I promise you, you guys are stronger than you think and more capable than you think. So if you want to get on the road, just go. Just go and then watch my videos on the way. Well, not while you're driving, but you know, like when you're parked, watch some of my videos to get more actual tips because I have tons because I've been doing this for years. And there's other people who have awesome tips as well. And there's blogs and all that kind of stuff that you can read. But I'm just saying the most important first step is don't let fear stop you. Don't let the self-sabotage. Don't let other people's negativity stop you. Do it. Just do it. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. And again, I'm gonna have more actual tips and probably talk about this fan more <laughs> in a video uh, in like a week or two. And then I'll probably have several more videos throughout the rest of the summer talking about this topic as well uh, from a more logistical standpoint and a little bit less motivational, but still some motivational because you guys know that it's really important to me and I hope it's really important to you too because we only have this one life, guys. So we might as well do what we know is best for us that I'm not saying to like ruin everyone else's life around you, but there are tons of things that we can do that are good for for us good for the people around us or at least neutral and they're gonna bring us closer to God and so we we, we need to just go do them we have to this is gonna be hard but we got to do it I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video go follow me on Instagram subscribe to me here and that's gonna be it I love you Jesus loves you and I'll talk to you later bye